So I always want to encourage you to do exercises with your horse that's gonna help to cultivate and develop suppleness, softness um, in the way that our horse responds to us. This particular exercise is called tail pulling and it's just like it sounds, we're gonna pull on our horse's tail. And when we gently pull on our horse's tail, we want them to come towards the direction that we're pulling them. So we want to make sure that we're very respectful of our horse's tail. This isn't an area that we need to take for granted. Uh, the tail is very sensitive to a horse. We have to remember that that tail helps to protect and cover very sensitive areas back here. So we don't want to just dig in and start pulling and yanking and twisting and heaving and turning. We want to make sure that we're very sensitive uh, to our horse here. So when I set him up to do this, I'm going to leave my rope just draped over uh, this panel here. I'm not going to tie him. I don't want him to get in a situation where I'm pulling and he can't give to that pressure because he's bound to where he's tied someplace. I want, as I'm pulling on that tail, for that rope to be able to slide out. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to slide my hand down here. I'm going to very gently take a hold of this tail and I'm going to put just a little bit of pressure to see if I can get him to come back. Now I'm not going to stand directly behind him. I'm going to kind of stand off to the side here. There, good. I'm going to rub him for that. That was really good. A lot better than I expected. He just kind of gave right into that as I picked up that tail. It was almost before I even really put any pressure to ask, he started creeping back. So I took advantage of that release the pressure. I'm going to give him a big rub, let him know he made a good choice here. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and ask him again. I'm going to slide my hand down here. I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure here. Oh, there. It wasn't much, but he moved into the pressure. So I'm going to rub and love on him for that. I want him to know that that was a good choice to make. I kind of want to stand away from that hip. I don't want to stand directly behind him where if something goes wrong, I don't want to get kicked. This is again, an exercise that we're only going to do with a quiet horse that's had the desensitizing, that's had the respect training in order to be nice and quiet and respectful with me when I'm back here by this tail. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure here. See if I can get my pony to give into the pressure up. Oh, here we go. Oh, right there. Good. That was nice. He's yielded, so he's yielded to the pressure a couple of times really nicely here. I want to finish off with a really nice soft give. So I'm going to go ahead and ask one more time. And again, I'm just going to very quietly go ahead and start to apply pressure here. I'm going to wait for him to give. Oh, that was good. I'm going to keep pulling right there. I'm going to release. Good boy. Very good. We always want to finish off when he's doing the exercise well. <laughs>